Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today I have the next installment for the Assassin's Creed series, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood No Death Run. Now, as you all know, if you've watched my Assassin's Creed ranking video, all of you know that this is my favorite Assassin's Creed game of all time. It's the one that started it all for me. So a lot of you pointed to the fact that since this is my favorite game, there should be a consequence if I die. And a couple of you pointed out some good consequences. Those consequences are dressing up in a dress and letting Crim Mom do my makeup if I die during this playthrough. Which, stupidly, I agreed to. Now, the question is, did I die? Well, let's get into the playthrough and find out. So we pick up the game right where the second one left off, in the vault, and then we have to escape Rome with our uncle to the villa. Obviously, this is just a tutorial part. It was very easy, nothing to really note here, so obviously nothing important with the run happened here, and no close deaths here. Now, obviously, we get back to the villa. We tell the assassins what happened. More tutorial for the missions, and then, obviously, well, everyone's favorite part about Ezio. He gets the ladies anytime he wants, so here we go. We have a little fun with one of the ladies named Katarina, so I hope I said that right. But anyway, nothing to note here, but this is the calm before the storm, literally. So, the Borgia attack the village right as Ezio was having a little fun. And this is the saddest part in the game, which is where Uncle Mario dies. And I'm going to let this scene play out, but here it is right now. The Pope told me about you and your little group of assassins. And this! Give me the gun his friend fashioned for us! We've had too much bloodshed. I think a cleansing is in order. So consider this an invitation from my family to yours. Don't you do it. Well, Uncle Mario's dead. So obviously, Uncle Mario's dead. We escape the villa, and then we get cut out of the animus and into the present day with desmond we get to play with desmond we find out we're at the villa and we set up the animus nothing really to note here so we jump back into the animus and here we are playing as Ezio again we find out we're in rome someone brought us to this lady's house and gave us some clothes and weapons the clothes happen to be the most famous brotherhood assassin's creed outfit but anyway, so we got to find out who brought us, we got to gather up the assassins, and we got to start getting our revenge for Uncle Mario. So after we meet up with the assassins, we gather information about our targets, we start taking them out one by one, starting with Cesare's banker, his cousin I believe who he is, the banker himself. Uh, as you can see, I never knew this, he kills that woman by choking her. He literally choked her. And so I was like, oh no, not this time. It's time to put you down. So that's exactly what I do. Oh no. You never noticed that before. Got him. Okay. The things I have felt, seen, and tasted, I do not regret a moment of it. 
Men of power must be contemptuous of delicacies. But I gave the people what they wanted. And now you pay for it. Il piacere immeritato si consuma da sé. Reguiescat in pace. Hmm. He deserved that. So the next target is the ally, French ally of Chesre himself. I don't remember his name, I'm sorry. So basically, uh, Bartolomeo's wife gets kidnapped by the French ally or the French commander. And obviously we can't have that going on. Uh, our ally's family is in trouble, so we go to help and we take him out. While also dedicated to the mission of getting revenge fully on Chesdre for killing Uncle Mario. Got him. I only wanted respect. Respect is earned, not inherited or purchased. Perhaps you are right. I need more time. Che tu sia pari nella morte, requiescat in pace. Uh oh. And the next target is a, an assassin himself hired by Cesare. No, not an assassin from the Brotherhood, anyway. But basically, Cesare's sister and lover, yes, I explained that during the live streams. Uh, she had a lover himself with uh, someone, I don't remember his name either. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce all these names. But basically, the, he has hired his personal assassin to assassinate her lover because of his jealousy. So let's see what happens when we take him out. Joseph, all ready, in good faith. Got him. Got him. <laughs> you cannot say, Pietro. The wine he drank was poison. As I promised Cesare, I made doubly sure. <laughs> I am not yet dead. I did not come here to kill you. He who is the cause of someone else becoming powerful is the agent of his own destruction. So obviously he, he didn't kill him, Remember him, and there was another thing in Brotherhood I forgot to mention earlier in the video, but there is also this side story of there being a traitor mm. in the Brotherhood, and well, oh, we discover that right. traitor right here, we take him out, yep. and we have to go save the person that's being accused of being the traitor. Yep. Oh mm. god, this game's so great. Why did you run? I... You are the traitor, not Machiavelli. There you go. Long live the Borgia! Merda. I was right. I have to stop La Volpe. There we go. I have discovered the traitor. What? One of our men. He was at the villa attack. Here, he carried this letter. My God. This is good news. More than you know. I am once again in your debt, Ezio. What debt is there amongst friends who trust one another? Yes. Thank you for relaying the message in time. Come, Niccolò. It has been far too long since we've talked. I heard the Colosseum Passion Play took an unexpected turn this evening. Really? It seems Jesu Cristo was resurrected three days early. So we save Machiavelli, I hope I said that right once again, and we finally bring Claudia, our sister, into the Brotherhood herself. She becomes an assassin, and then most importantly, Ezio himself becomes the mentor of the Assassin Brotherhood. I love this part, and oh my goodness, let me just show you this scene. Now she's an assassin. Yay. You and I have not seen eye to eye on many issues. Niccolò. But you are exactly what the Order needed. 
You have led the charge against the Templars and rebuilt this brotherhood. Now we must put Ezio where he belongs, at the head of the assassins. <laughs> Ezio Auditore da Firenze. You will now be known as Il Mentore, the guardian of our order and our secrets. And now I'm in charge. Yes. Where other men blindly follow the truth, remember, nothing, nothing is, is true. true. And after becoming the mentor of the assassins, we have to finally finish our mission. Rodrigo Borgia finally pays for our father's death, and we get the location of the apple, and we get to finally confront Cesare for the revenge of our uncle. But, as the end of Assassin's Creed 2 states, Ezio's moved on from revenge, and it ain't really revenge... But we finally take out Cesare, or at least get to confront him with the apple. And then this is where I fell in love with the series, right here. Let me show you. There they are. All of Italia shall be united, and you will rule beside me. Come to watch my triumph. Soon Micheletto and his army will arrive. But you shall be dead before then. Insieme per la vittoria! Vittoria agli assassini! My men will never fail me! They know what awaits me if they do! Okay, I'm gonna use the arrow storm at the very end. I gotta be smart, especially with my health being the way it is. Ow. Woo! They know what awaits them if they do. Come on, what you waiting for? Why are you hiding behind there? Like that ain't fair. Okay, once we're about ten seconds away. I'll uh I'll use their sparrow storm. Okay. I want the assassin name to die today. It ain't gonna happen. Alright, screw it. <sighs> okay. It's over. Put down your arms, Cesare Borgia. Micheletto's troops mass behind me. We will take back my city once and for all. This is not your city anymore. So yes, the assassins come together in the city of Rome to confront Cesare. He gets arrested, and it turns out he escapes. But, as you can see, we took him out. But does that mean I died? Well... Actually, no, I did not die during this playthrough at all. So, thank God for that. I didn't have to dress up as a woman and uh, have Grim Mom do my makeup. And by the way, on top of all that, I had to stream one day like that. I think I forgot to mention that at the very beginning. But, have that being said, I completed the playthrough on the first try without dying. So, finally, I have a victory. And this is where... The video is going to end. So thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you. Hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, drop a like on the video because the next video will be Revelations coming very soon. I am live streaming that right now as of recording of this video anyway. But it is a lot of fun. I hope to see you all over there in those live streams. And I will catch you all in the next one.